hunting and disassembly with the Winchester X-150 muzzleloader. William Hovey Smith, 2021-22. And for the upcoming muzzleloading season, I'm going to be using some new bullets introduced by Power Belt and CBA. In particular, these are the ELR, meaning extra long range, uh, projectile. Uh, right now, they are available in 40 caliber, 45 caliber, and 50 caliber. Most people own 50 caliber guns. So this is the 50 caliber projectile. It is 334 grains. Although not as ballistically efficient as the 40 caliber, it does extend your flat shooting trajectory a little bit. Uh, meaning if you zero at say two inches high at 25 yards, then you would probably be able to aim at your animal and hit it, say, out to 150 yards without employing much in the way of holdover. Uh, the load I'm going to be using is Blackhorn 209 here. This gun is a Winchester and so marked as the X-150. It was made for Winchester by CVA. and incorporated some design elements that CBA and Winchester jointly did, including an excellent composite stock, a very nice barrel, uh, and providing good accuracy. Also, some reasonable weight. This gun weighs, hunt ready, uh, approximately nine pounds. We have a convenient little loader here, which is nice uh, in cold weather in particular uh, for putting the 209 primers into the chamber of a gun. We also have a short starter, and I've modified it by drilling it out in the front so that it will not compress the pointy, pointy bullets like so. Okay, got it away. Now that was a compreciable recoil. So I'm going to drop it back to 80 grains. Now that feels better. I can work with that load. Yeah. Osabaw Island muzzleloader hunt with Winchester X-150 and Ruger Old We're going to load up on a boat like these gentlemen are doing right now. Then go out there and go get them. And here we are at Asaba in the landing. This is about as nice as the Asaba hunting woods get. Uh, you have green grass cover that the hogs like to eat. You have a mixture of palm and huge oaks, all of which are dropping food on the ground. The ground is damp for rooting, hogs like that. So yeah, 
This is all good stuff for the local critters. I am an author, mostly of outdoor books, but I also have business titles. The newest of which is Make Your Own Job Anytime, Anywhere, at Any Age, which promotes individual entrepreneurship. I also have my novel, Until Death Do You Part, an American Family Meets Their Sicilian Cousins, which is available on Amazon.com as an e-book, audio book, and soft cover. This is the third and last day of our Osaba hunt. And I'm still in my same area, although a different part of it. We, of course, came in as usual as daylight. And I'm hunting the marsh edge here. We had five failures to fire, two were at game, three while I cleared the gun, then I reloaded, and finally it did fire, but not at a piece of game. And the problem is not with the gun and not with the primers, but with the powder. Uh, Blackhorn 209 will not stay loaded in this gun for several days and still function. I found that out during muzzle loading season, and I found confirmed that uh, on this particular hunt. Twice it failed when the gun was pointed at game, and three times later I finally got it to fire, and then loaded a fresh charge, and that charge fired with a hang fire. So consequently, we're going to do a powder change on that particular gun. Killing deer with a Winchester X-150 while sewing in the stump. Now what I'm doing and why I came in and set up and brought my other guns is uh, hogs like to move in this area with rain and we're supposed to have heavy rain this afternoon and I'm hoping that will bring some hog movement. Well, if not, we'll just sit here and muzzle load as we usually would for deer. A yearling doe just came out, a gray-phased animal. And I took it at about, no, 60 yards with the XE-150. The load used in the Winchester X-150 was 80 grains of FFG Go-X black powder and Power Belt's new 50 caliber 367 grain ELR bullet. But uh, it worked well. The bullet passed diagonally through the small deer. And uh, that answers one common criticism of power belt bullets is that oftentimes they do not exit, but this one most assuredly did. Disassembly of the Winchester X-150. First, remove the ramrod and the front and rear screws. Then, remove the bolt retainer pin and the spring. While pulling the trigger, withdraw the bolt. Unscrew the bolt head and note the position of the part. Find or make a breech plug extraction rod and use that rod to extract the breech plug. Complete the bolt assembly and note the relative position of the parts. Reassemble the bolt, applying pressure to the bolt head to compress the spring. These are useful tools for this gun. As one of only two muzzleloaders ever marketed by Winchester, this gun has collector's value as well as excellent shooting qualities when used with black powder and Pyrodex pellets, the powders it was designed for to use. For more information on my books, blogs, and more than 900 videos, go to my website, www.hoviesmith.com. Please purchase my books to support this channel. To find out more about my business books, go to createyourownjobsecurity.com. My novel, Until Death Do You Part, An American Family Meets Their Sicilian Cousins, has been selected for review by the New York Times Review of Books. It is available from Amazon and other online resources as a soft cover ebook and audiobook. Hunt what you eat and eat what you hunt. Goodbye and God bless.